All right, guys, welcome to the channel. As you can probably tell from the thumbnail, it's just not a good day here. So, uh, Saturday, everything looked fine. I was doing everything, uh, everything was going the way it was supposed to. Uh, fed all the fish, everyone was eating as they were supposed to, and Sunday morning, my, my lights come on at 11, so I was out and about in the morning, had to run a few errands, and uh, I came home and I started my water change in, in, in the reef immediately. As uh, I was in the process of filling up, up the tank, my, my wife says, where's Vito? And Vito is our emperor angel that we got three weeks ago. I'll put a card in the end. It, uh, so you can see the day we took him home. So we've had him about three weeks. And I said, oh, I think he's probably just hiding. Because uh, when I did a water change two weeks ago, he, he hid for, till a, for a few hours and after the water change as well. So then later on in the day, I, I noticed Vito still wasn't really coming out. So I, I threw our, our lunchtime food in there. So, and he came out, but didn't really eat anything. So okay, okay I didn't think too much of it went on with the rest of the day Sunday afternoon you know other errands to do around the house I said let's let's go see where Vito is now and he was still hiding out in uh in this cave right over here swimming upright and everything was looked he looked normal there was nothing oddly looking you know nothing looked odd with him so I went to go do my nighttime feeding and once again, he came out, and he just swam by all the food. Didn't even take a nibble. Didn't even want to try. So at this point, I started taking out the camera, and I'll insert some some of that footage here. He just wanted to. Uh, he started to get lazy and lazier and lazier as as the night progressed. You know, you're starting to go from swimming straight up and down to to wanting to. to drift on his side um the flow was was starting to take take control of him um by the end of the night i noticed he was pretty much all the way in the back by this overflow here and he was actually on the bottom of the tank laying against the overflow so the lights went out 9 p.m and i went to bed so let's see how he's doing in the morning woke up and I actually found him in the same exact spot that I left him in when the lights went out. He was up against this back overflow again. And at this point, he hasn't moved from this side of the aquarium. For the past three weeks, he I would say this side of the aquarium he called home. He, he would go back and forth, but 85% of the time he was on this side of the aquarium, so his cave or his territory was over here. So I knew it was something wasn't right with him hanging out over here. So we woke up in the morning. There he was, laying against the overflow. So, I mean, I work from home, so I, all, I had to go to work. So I had to go to my office on the other side of the house, and uh, I'd keep coming every half hour, 45 minutes. I'd come back and check on him, and he, he would be worse and worse and worse. And finally I noticed he was underneath this rock right over here this rock holds up a lot of other rocks and it looked like he was trying to swim to try to get out and then i noticed an emerald crab had both pinchers on his tail fin and a top dorsal fin bottom dorsal fin whatever it was and as he tried to swim and kick away and i got i'll show you some video it it wasn't good the the emerald crabs had him and they were getting ready to start to eat him alive. At this point, I, I, I was heartbroken. How do I get this fish out of here? I, I tried numerous ways to get him out without pulling these rocks out. I finally I got a turkey baster out and I started turkey basting out and around the, the bottom of this rock. Something happened, he came out. So luckily I was able to scoop him out, get him in a bucket. And now it's like, what do I do with him? So I. I placed him in my sump and I figure at least if, if he's going to pass away, at least he can pass away in peace in the sump and not 
get eaten alive by emerald crabs. Yeah, that's that's nature, you know, and um, the emerald crabs are there. They're a cleanup crew. They're there to clean that up, but not my buddy while he's at his, his last hours of life. You know, and it, it really makes me sad as uh, I've really wanted an emperor angel fish for a long time. And uh, I waited. I got, waited until I had the big enough tank. I waited until he was going to be the last addition to the tank. And it, it, it really hurts me the most. It's not these, these fish aren't captive bred. You know, he was plucked out of an ocean somewhere. You know, as a, a little baby that had a full life to live in the ocean. And he was plucked out of the ocean. And the responsibility was mine to take care of him. I, I feel I did the best I could, but it, it doesn't take away that that we're going to lose Vito. You know, he, he is still in the sump as, as we speak now, but there, there's really no more other videos I, we can show him. I'm probably going to be euthanizing him tonight. Um, it's, it's a method I've used back from my freshwater days. And uh, it, it's very humane, and, and it'll put him out, but there... I tried to feed him down there, tried to give him some mysis shrimp right in front of his face and you know he's he's basically going up and going to the the great the grate of one of the baffles. Every time I go in there he's made it back up to that grate and he doesn't even have enough energy to get away from it. So I'm sorry to report the bad news, but um we will be uh getting something else here in the future for the for the channel and for the aquarium. So I hope you, you know, please like and subscribe. And uh, we're going to be doing a bunch of things on this channel that I'm sure you hobbyists are going to like and enjoy. And I appreciate you listening to me tell my story tonight.